Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Timu haul. Let me get my little thumbnail. Okay, y'all, I already have, this is like three different packages. This is gonna be my longest haul ever. And we're gonna get right into it as always. But look, you guys, um, I've been reading your comments and about the fact that I need to slow down and breathe because um, my strong Southern accent, I think makes it hard for me to under, hard for you to understand me when I'm talking super fast. So I generally am gonna try to slow down, although it's hard for me, cause I'm already like a high, high strung and anxious person and I take medication for it. But um, yeah, it's just my nature. And when my blood pressure goes creeping up, it makes me even more anxious when I can feel myself starting to get sweaty. But I'm gonna try to do better. Guys, I'm going to start with something that I forgot to show you in my last haul. I just, I just left it here and completely forgot about it. Y'all, look at this. Look at this little mushroom planter. Is that not the cutest thing? The colors are so pretty. And I have, it has, you know, a hole in, it has several holes in it. You could put plenty of greenery in here. I've got so much greenery from, um, Timo, I'll have no problem setting this up, but I'll show it to you once I put some stuff in it and uh, find a home for it. Super cute. I was so disappointed that I forgot to show it last time. Okay, and guys, there are makeup dupes in this one, but they're gonna be like sporadic through here. I don't have them all together, but um, I'm gonna start out with a couple of sets of nails. And ignore my nails, speaking of which, I've just, it's been busy and I just haven't had time to mess with them, but I'm going to, I promise. Um, but yeah, I told y'all I had the, probably the last of the, the T-Moon nails that I'm going to order coming in. And um, yeah, I love this shade. It's like a, in person, it's much darker. I think my little ring light is making them lighter, but they're a very beautiful dark purple, kind of a hollow color. And these are just some basic short nails. And yes, I always order short because long nails just drive me nuts. If I have really long nails and I'm going to do something and they get in my way, I'll just go popping them off. I just, I won't keep them on. So uh, I can't stand to be bothered. Part of my anxiety, I guess. But um, okay guys, I've got my little phone here and I've got um, my dupes ready to show you. Let's see. And this first one, I know exactly what it is. Let's see if I can find my picture, my picture, my picture, my picture. Um, I guess I could be opening it while I'm looking for the picture. Okay, here we go. This is much smaller than Tower 28, but this is a cream blush, and it's quite obviously a Tower 28 dupe, and I think it might even be the same color. I can't read the writing on the back, obviously, but... um. The color that I have pulled up on Sephora is Magic Hour, a sun-kissed rosy nude. And yeah, they pr look pretty similar. So I think this is gonna be a good one. And guys, everything I haul today, I'm gonna try for about three weeks and then I'll be back with a speed review. I'm, unless it's going in a giveaway, I'm gonna try it and I'll be back to review it. I'm just not gonna just leave you hanging. Okay, so there's that. Okay, here's something. Wait, come on with that. Okay, that's trash. Okay, guys, um, these here, let me be careful. I'm already dropping the back and trying to drop it on the floor. But um, I'm a May baby. Where'd you go? These are hard to hold on to. Little posts are so short. I'm a May baby, and so my birthstone is emerald. And these are not real, but I thought they would just be cute to put in my second hole. Which, by the way, guys, I've got on these insane earrings. What do we think? This is the size that's slightly down from the biggest pair, and I think they would be literally touching my shoulders if I wore them. But yeah, this is the other pair. Let me know what you think. Too big, too much. Um, but yeah, I love these little fake emerald posts for my back holes. Okay, let me get these back in this little envelope before I lose all the pieces. Uh -huh. Okay, next. Um, this is, y'all, bees are the, apparently the thing for this year. 
So I've ordered, already ordered this one that's on my middle finger, if you can see it. But um, I've ordered this little one. Isn't that cute? And I like it because it has a little gold in it. I need some jewelry um, for when I wear like gold hoops. Um, or on the rare occasion that I wear gold, I need something to go with it. So I, I'm trying to order little pieces that have a little gold in them. That's super cute though, very petite. And I ordered it for a ring finger. Ugh, I wish I'd ordered it as a pinky ring. Maybe it'll work as a thumb. No, it's definitely a ring finger. It's a six. But anyway, we will definitely wear that this summer. Okay. This, now this is cracking me up. Let me cut this open. This is a dupe. But when you see what it is, y'all, I laughed and laughed over this and laughed and laughed. Um, let me get my little picture up while I'm opening it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness for trash. I'm looking for trash can. Okay. Oh. oh, okay, let me find it. All right, let's get this joker open. Do y'all ever, when you do a Timu haul, find that you've got little pieces of plastic everywhere and you have to sweep them up? Y'all, this is a beautiful shade of blush. It is so pretty. It's a liquid blush. Well, look what they duped. She Glam. They duped She Glam, which is already so affordable. See, it's the exact same little, little applicator, little sponge applicator. There's a ton of product in here. And from, my, from what I've read, it's got really good reviews. It's a corally pink. I cannot wait to use this. So yeah. I might use this in my next video so I can just point out, hey, this is that She Glam Duke blush. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, guys, I told you this is just kind of a mix of things, but we do have plenty of makeup in here. It's just a matter of getting to it. Okay, guys, these I did not take a picture, but I think we all know Tori Birch by now. She's been around, she's a designer that's been around for years, and she makes sandals and all purses, luggage, what have you. Anything she makes has this symbol on it. And um, they're perfectly flat. They have a nice rubber bottom so they won't be slippy. I love them. Y'all know I'm a tall girl, so I like my flat shoes and black matches everything. And I love the bag they sent them in. That's one great thing about Timu. If you order from them a lot, you will never have a lack of plastic bags. All right, let me get a sip of water and then I'll get on to this next thing. Okay, I hate drinking while I'm doing this because I don't wanna mess up my lipstick, but okay. Next here, we have a tote bag, which doesn't really look like the picture but it's a cute tote. It's a real, why does it have so many handles? Oh, okay, it has a crossbody handle and then it has two regular handles on each side. It's got pockets galore and the pockets are this type that you can tighten so you can keep them secure and closed and it locks in place, see? Yeah, and that's, I think that's how the whole closure works. Yes, the entire closure works with one of these Elastic, I really, I'm gonna have to fight with this. But um, yeah, I got it. It just tightens the whole thing up. It closes it up for you. This is a really cool little bag. Oh, and it has a zipper, it has a, um, it has nice compartments inside like a regular handbag does. Your little side pockets that don't zip, just your little side pockets like your phone or whatever. And then it has a zipper compartment. And the zipper works well, and the compartment is actually fairly deep. This would make a cool purse, but I will definitely use it as a tote. And I love the star on the front. I have a, like a sort of a star fetish. I always have American pride, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, very cute. Oh, let me put it back in the bag. At least cram it in there for now. Okay. Guys, I'm trying to be more relaxed. Okay, next, I told you I was going back for this. 
I had to have one of these cups in pink. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. These things are worth every penny. See, they're just metal inside. The top screws on so securely, so securely that, I mean, you could easily throw it in your tote bag, your purse if you're carrying a big one, what have you. Oh, and look, what else is in here? Looks like they added some bling. Yes, they added a holder for it. Oh my gosh, y'all check this out. Well, I'm not sure how it works exactly. But apparently, this is supposed to attach. And then you can carry it. Is that how it works? Yeah, and I guess you can just... And it, honey, it's cross-body length. This is right up my alley. Oh, I just took my earring out. Anyway, that's another problem with these earrings. They don't stay in very well. They're, they're extremely flimsy, but I'll put it back in a second. But, um, anyway, yeah, this is a neat, neat, neat item and totally worth the money. Totally worth it. It's gorgeous. Okay. I love the idea of just being able to carry my water on my shoulder and not even have to um, take up space in my bag with it. Okay, and you <laughs> You know how we've discussed that sometimes you're expecting something to be the size of your head and it ends up being positively petite? Yep, this is one of those. <laughs> but it's cute. But is this the tiniest plant? I mean, it's like three or four inches tall. Well, I mean, I'm, it is the size of my head, I guess, but not in the way I imagined. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can spread it out. It's flexible. You can mess with it, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna sit this down inside of something to give to make it a little bit more substantial looking. Yeah, I'm gonna find a home for this down inside something else. I'll do a short when I figure out where to put it and find a container for it. But yeah, I thought the um this woven material looked boho, but yeah. It's just a little bit too small. Okay. So this one's empty. Okay, now I think we're headed for some makeup and some other goodies. Oh, I got my scissors ready to roll. Let's see if I can get them going here. I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut some, I, I can't ever remember if I've ordered something fabric and I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut into something and ruin it. Okay. Let's get going here. Okay, first, and guys, this is another story. Um, this one actually opens up easily. I know we've all, we all probably have one of these or know someone who does, but the yard flag little stands, I'm really into those, and I have a full collection of um, flags for every season. I ordered this for summer because it screams 70s. I absolutely love it. I'm a 70s baby, like an 80s kid, but a 70s, I grew up in the 70s, my little bitty years, and I just love anything that reminds me of that time period. But get this, y'all. <laughs> I went out with the dog the other morning, and I realized somebody had stolen my yard flagpole. So now, Timo, I'm going to be putting in, an, in another order for a flag stand because, yes, I have nowhere to put this now. I hope whoever stole it and my flag that was on it fully enjoys it. <laughs> of all the things to steal, I mean, there, there's a bike out there, and but they steal a flag stand. Okay. Okay, folks. This is a hair tool. And I'm gonna have to read the directions. I am a, I don't know how this works. I honestly saw it and I thought it was interesting looking and I haven't ordered a hair tool from them in a very long time. Um, ages ago, before I started making videos, I ordered um, one of those Dyson knockoffs you know, that thing with a little oval hole and then you put your attachments, but it was awful. It, I, they, I had to return it. It was terrible, but um, this is some kind of curling iron that I guess makes your hair look more spirally. 
I don't know, but I will use it and I'll show you the results. Maybe I'll even make a video using it if I can figure out how to set up the camera in my bathroom. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother putting this back in the plastic. We're just gonna put this right back in here for now until I figure it out. But yeah, I think I might play with that tomorrow after I wash my hair. Okay. Did I order these? I don't remember ordering these guys. I really don't. I think this may have been an accident. These little pink earrings, they're like just a little ear cuff. I don't wear this kind of earring. I think they sent this to me by accident and it's going in a giveaway. I don't wear that type of earring. I just don't. Okay, so that'll go in the giveaway drawer. And by the way, guys, I don't know why I'm just now saying this, but I saw that I finally hit 500 subscribers. So a giveaway video is going up tomorrow. Even if I get Timu orders in, which I don't know if I'm get. I haven't looked. I don't know if I have any out for delivery today or not. But even if I do, tomorrow we're doing a giveaway video. That's it. I'm going to be showing exactly what's in the giveaway and what all's involved in it and, um, and how long it'll last till I pick a winner and all that good stuff. And it's going to be a fun one. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, what have we got here? And I thank y'all so, so much for getting me to 500. And if you could get me to 1,000, I'll have more than one winner. Um, yeah, I'll probably have two or three winners, depending on how much I've collected by then. But yeah, I, I so much appreciate you guys on liking, subscribing, sharing, and everything you've done to help me. I, I, I appreciate you more than you know. I, I really do. Um, okay, here. I only use um, polish on my toenails, really, but um, this is like a, supposed to be like a holochrome, holochrome, however you say it, green, blue, pink, purplish nail polish. So, I'll use it on my toes. I don't think I'm ever going to show my feet on here because that's, <laughs> that's a little too much. And it might gross people out. I don't want anybody throwing up on because of me. But um, anyway, yeah. I'll use this on like a pinky finger or something and just show you the color. Although, I have an Essie color that's so similar. I, I think I pretty much know what it's going to look like. Okay, guys. I'm trying it again with a with a um with a uv light top coat this time i've got this one they advertise this as a rubber top coat can you see i'm not sure if you can see but i um, mean it comes in the black so it's definitely a gel but uh yeah they advertise it as rubber so i'm hoping this will really toughen up the last team of nails i have coming in We'll see. I'll let you know. I will sure let you know. Okay, next. And then I think we're on to straight makeup after this. I ordered another pair of shoes. This is just a basic pair of white, flap, flat, rubber sole, non-slip, flip-flops. I mean, white and black, they match everything. I just like flip-flops that I can throw on to run out the door to the grocery store, to Walmart, Target, wherever, with the dog, wherever. And these will just be cute, casual sandals for summer. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're on to now. Let me get my pictures up so I'll be ready to show dupes. Um, okay. Let's see what we got here first. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I know what this is. Let me find it. I am so excited for this. I cannot stand it because I cannot afford the real product. Where did I do, what did I do with the other picture of it? Okay, um, but look how, look how this is attached in the front. It's like it comes together in the front. How do I open it? Oh, it has a, this little cameo thing is sticky and then it opens like this. And I think we all know they are duping Flower Nose, which is extremely expensive, beautifully packaged makeup. I love that it's got a little pearl to open it. Look at this little pearl that you used to open it. And then you get this pretty little lacy looking piece of plastic. It has a mirror. 
and look at there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And yeah, this is the only picture I have of flower nose. But as you can see, that's what they're doing. I mean, I, they didn't dead on dupe it, but that's the idea that they're going for. Yeah, I absolutely cannot wait to use that. I want to see what the blue looks like. If it actually shows up when you rub your um, brush around in it or what. But yeah, love this. Incredibly beautiful. Highly recommend. And I'll let you know how how um, what the color is like. If it's just pretty or if it has beauty and substance. We'll find out. We will find out. Okay. Okay, and we all know what this is. I have never tried a Timu mascara, but I love the um I love tubing mascaras, which is what the Thrive is. But and and I think we already know this by now, especially people that are into makeup. When you use a tubing mascara, it basically keeps it from smudging because it creates actual little tubes of mascara on your lashes. And then when you go to wash your face, you see all these little tubes all over your face. But yeah, it, it's great about um, keeping you from smudging. But anyway, it's all wrapped up in plastic, but yeah. Um, let me see if I have my picture of it. Uh, but we all know what it looks like. Yeah. Well, let me see. Come on. Yeah, we all know what they're doing. Yeah. I'll let you know, guys. And if it's good, I'll order another one for, for my next giveaway, for my thousand subscriber giveaway. So I hope it's fabulous because it, this is going to be a very good, cheap um, tubing mascara if it does. I'll have to order a million before they discontinue it. Okay. I know what this is too. Okay. This is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I'm sure it'll be fine because I only wash my hair twice a week. So I only have so much time to use all this stuff. But this is a, um, a dupe of the... More Moroccan oil. Um, it's just a hair oil that you use, I think, after you shampoo. I can't read the how to use. Pour this product in palm of hand and rub evenly on frizzy parts of your hair and arrange until the hair is smooth. Oh, I think you can use this even on dry hair, on wet or dry hair. Like if you dry your hair and you've still got some frizz, you can just rub this between your hands and just kind of calm it down. Yeah, I haven't ever used real Moroccan oil, but I'll give this a shot and see if it works because I definitely have frizzy hair. My profile picture um, for YouTube is what my hair looks like when I don't blow it straight and like use a straightener or a curling iron. It's naturally kind of wavy. Um, so yeah, I, my hair's pretty frizzy. So yeah, this will come in handy. We will definitely try it. Okay. Okay, and I know what this is. Let me go ahead and find my picture. Um, oh, okay, here we are. Okay, this is a dupe of Merit Blush. These little... These little stubby gold blushes, see, dead on dupe. I have hoarded so much blush, you guys, and I've only got one face, but hey. But the beauty of uh, cream blush is you can put it down first and then go over it with, with a powder blush to make your color more intense and to sort of set your cream. But hopefully this one will dry down. I'll, like I said, I'll use it and it'll be in a speed reviews. I cannot wait. I love to play with makeup. I wish I could get paid to just play with makeup all day. I should have a job at Sephora. If I didn't have so many health issues, I would. Okay, what's this? Okay, this looks like it has a dropper. Okay, this is biotin and collagen, 20,000 milligrams combined hair nutrient solution. I wasn't lying when I said I was going in for hair dupes. Okay. So this is just another product that you use after you shampoo 
and um, I think you use it on wet hair. It doesn't really have any directions. I'll Google it because um, the dupe, let me find it. It's actually on Amazon. Yeah, the dupe is actually on Amazon. So I'll look up the Amazon reviews and um, and what they say the instructions are because I can't really, because there's nothing on here and there's nothing on the packaging either. Um, that tells you what to do, but yeah, we'll give it a shot. And uh, of course, it's got the little dropper. I think this is a product, the dropper is making me think, this is a product that goes on your scalp. If you have dry scalp or issues with dandruff or just have an itchy head because of allergies or whatever, this will soothe it. That's why you get a dropper. And I'm gonna cover it back up so I don't break it. And I'm gonna sit this here to the side. Actually, I'm going to just put it back in this little package it came in. All right, guys, let me just get another sip of water. This is like the longest Timu haul ever. Mm. Okay. But we're getting close to the end, guys. We really are. Not much left in here. Okay, what's this? Did I order two of these or did they accidentally send me two? Guys, I think they're accidentally sending me extra stuff. They sent me an extra one of these Tower 28 blushes. I didn't order it, but I'm not, I'm gonna put it right back in here and this is going in my giveaway drawer for my next giveaway. I think I have enough for the one I'm gonna be showing tomorrow, but anything I'm adding today will go into the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And my ring light is giving out on me. If, if you can see, I'm getting darker. My ring light is giving out. I, my little portable one for my phone, it came from Timu, and I probably should have gotten one from Amazon. But um, it would probably work better. Okay, we're down to the last product here. Ah, oh, yes. This is another leave-in hair mask. And I've got my little picture here of what I believe they're duping here. Um, let me get back in here. Let's see. Yeah. They're duping like the K18 leave-in conditioner. See there? Let me open the bottle. And I just tore it up. But yeah, I was thinking at first this was gonna be, um, wrong picture, I lost my picture. I thought at first this was gonna be a dupe of Olaplex, but I think it's actually a dupe of the K18. But both products are just leave-in conditioners anyway. So, um, and they're both very expensive. The K18 and the Olaplex are both very expensive hair products from Sephora that I can't afford. I've had Olaplex one time because I got a particular product on clearance at Sephora and free shipping. That's the whole reason why I got it. And it's gone now. But yeah, I will be trying this out too. If I had not torn up the box, I would have put it in a giveaway. Would you, would you guys mind sort of a, the lid of the box being torn? If not, I might put this in a giveaway. Let me know in the comments if you would like to get a hair product with a slightly torn box. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. And I never put this wild earring back in. And I'm afraid I can't do it without a mirror. But um, yeah, guys, that's it. Um, this is my longest haul ever, and I tried my best to be zen. Zen. <laughs> that's going to be my motto going forward. Calm, zen. I need to start doing yoga. My stepsister does it and um, it has changed her life, she says. I think I need to start doing it too to help me chill. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. Um, just thank you for everything. Thank you for all your sweet comments all the time. And just thank you for watching me. I know I'm kind of nutty. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching me. And um, like I said, I'll be back with the giveaway tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.